Hi guys and girls, it's Kevin again from the Figure Owners Club and this video is all about how to replace your gas struts uh, on your top boot. Now, um, if you don't know what they are, I'm going to show you them. So let's just quickly open the boot. Standard procedure. Click the centre switch. Go round. And like most of us, I guess, we go in with the corner of our fingers and up she goes. Now, this are, these are the gas struts and you can tell they need basically replacing because if I let go of this, and I don't really want to let go of it because it's just going to slam shut. If I let go, there's absolutely nothing there at all. These are completely and utterly gone. And the reason for that is because the car's, well, 31 years old now, obviously over time the gas escapes from the seals and uh, you've got nothing. So there's absolutely no, these are doing absolutely nothing. That's probably the case with most of the figs. I mean, obviously if you didn't have it, it you know, the, the boot would fall the other way and it would be mayhem, but they don't really, they're not really doing what they're, what they're, what they're meant to be doing, which is to re you know, provide some resistance when the boot comes down. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing, we've bought a set of um, gas struts from a company called SGS. And um, the reason we did that is because this is the cheapest way of doing it. Now, what it does mean, it does mean that I've got to do some, um, some, some work to make them fit. So I'm going to go through this video, and at the end of it, I'm going to tell you, you can either get them from SGS, which are around £40, something like that, so £20 each, not too bad. Or you can go to companies like the Figaro shop, and, and I think they provide them completely finished, or all the work's done, so you just basically... It's just a swap job, whereas with, with me, as usual, I'm going to take a more difficult route, but it's a bit of a cheaper option. So follow me through and uh, let's start at the beginning. So the good news is there are a piece of coke to get off. Uh, all you need is a 12mm spanner and you undo this, which is like one I've done before. So <laughs> um, undo that so you can leave the, leave the plate where it is. You don't need to do anything with that. There we go. And then down here, all you need to do, as I said, I've already loosened these. And that's just, I think that's a 10 mil, 10 mil nut, and they come straight off. So I'm just gonna show you what I need to do, just so you've got an idea. There we go. Hopefully it's not gonna go anywhere. Still got one on there. So as I said, you leave this, this bracket in place. These are studs here, so they're not gonna go anywhere. We'll leave the nuts in the bottom. So if we are laid up on the bench as so, there we go. What we've got here is we've got one I'm gonna replace. This is one I've this is what I've brought. This is the new one, okay? And I've also brought uh, an M6 threaded um, stud. I'll put the order information on, so you, you, need, you need two of these. I'll, I'll also specify what they are, because they need, need to be a certain force, um, Newton force, so um, I'll specify all that. But at the end of it, you need to have this um, this uh, six mil stud. Obviously, it's the same as that one. There we go, so that's a, a simple job. And then that just, that just fits, obviously, straight into that. So that's all nice and simple, isn't it? Now, where it gets... A little bit complicated is at this end so what you've got you've got this rod if you like and what's happened it's been riveted into this saddle area here so it's like a bracket here obviously that allows it to rotate so what we need to do we need to cut this off we, this is the piece we're keeping so we need to have that bit so we need to cut this off and basically drill that out and then we need to here we need to drill this the end of here and we need to to tap it using a six mil tap i think it shouldn't be too difficult but obviously the first part is to chop this off um so we this is the piece we're, we're retaining we want to keep want to keep this bit okay that's the next part so i'm in the workshop now um what I have done, I've just printed off the uh, Figaro Shop ones and £132. 
Um, so it's a, it's a big difference in price. Obviously, looking at them, you know, they come complete with this end bit all done. Whereas, as I've said, we've got to cut this off. So there's a bit of work involved. But if you've got a, a hacksaw and uh, you've got a tap set, you know, you could even buy some of these bits and bobs. And it's probably going to save you quite a bit of money. But so uh, 40 quid I've paid, 130. So it's a 90 pound difference. It's quite a lot. But anyway, it's not for everyone doing this. You know, a lot of people just like to swap stuff over. But what I was also going to show you was just how amazingly different this is so if i pick this up this is the original look how easy that is i can just look with my hand there's just nothing there at all there's no resistance i can pull that apart you know, a bit of wood and just pop it in it's no there's nothing with this this is the new one i've really got a go i've really got a Push down on it. It's amazing. So, so much different. So I'm hoping that's going to work out really, really well. So the first thing to do is to cut this bit off. I'm going to pop it into the vise and then hacksaw that, uh, that end off flush with this, this saddle. So trying to get it as flush as you can. I won't video all of this, but I'll do a few seconds. Okay, so that slice that off okay. I'm just going to make make good that with a, a file. And then we need to uh, drill a hole and tap it. Right, that looks pretty good. Filed that nice and flat. So I now need to mark that and drill a hole and then tap it. So I've managed to clamp it in my little uh, drill vise here. It's perfect because it wants to be obviously dead horizontal to, uh, to drill the hole. So I've drilled it out and I'm just starting to tap the, the little uh, saddle bracket now. So all going quite well at the moment. So it's all tapped what i'm going to do is i'm going to obviously give it a some primer and re respray it black but you can see that goes in there taps in there lovely perfect and what um simon suggested simon smith is just put some loctite on it which i'm going to do so I'm put some loctite on it i might just nick the edge of that off because i'm noticing it's running through a little bit deep here and it's it, when it's all the way through it's it's just hitting that <laughs> the, the underside of that so I'm just gonna have to um, just file that thread down slightly make it a little bit shallower and then uh, and that's all done so on to the next bit just painting a little bit of primer on the uh, thread and then I'll uh, give them a spray of um, hammerite gloss black and uh, we're getting close. So, uh, all the brackets are painted now, looking pretty good. Primed and painted, and uh, as um, Simon said about putting some Loctite on it, so I'm just dabbing it on the thread before I uh, before I screw it in. All good. So that's the uh, Loctite I used, uh, three four three, but. Um, that's pretty good lot tight a little bit on the old thread and I as I said before I had to cut the thread down slightly I don't know whether you can see that probably I had to just trim it down slightly because it was hitting the the other side of this um, mechanism so so I'm gonna leave that to dry and then what I am gonna do just for belt and braces I just thought it would be a good idea to um, just put a little bit of aridite in there as well just a little blob of aridite inside to uh, really stop it coming out. But it's looking good. So that's, uh, that's how she looks. Cool. Okay, so that's the first one fitted on. Let's just see if it makes any difference. Oh, it's a lot stiffer to push down. I've not got the other one on here yet. See what it's like to 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's brilliant. So I'll just put the other one on and see what they're like as a pair. Looking good. Okay, it's all done. So I thought I'd have a little test before and after. So this is the one I've just done. This is Belle. Actually got a push on it. This is, seems quite odd actually. This is like a real resistance, but fantastic. Goes in okay. Quickly open it up. <laughs> so okay, still got to get your hands in it. But voila! This one here is just loose. If I let that go, it's just going to fall. There's absolutely nothing at all. So, fantastic. Really, really pleased with that. Push it down now. Seems really weird having to do that, but look how she comes back. Springs back. Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, so another video from, from Kevin. Uh, I was a little bit wrong about the Figaro shop unit because when I looked at it again, basically you still need to remove the pins on the bracket. So you still need to do a little bit of work with the Figaro shop item, but not as much as I did here, which was drilling and tapping and all the rest of it. But you will still need some tools even to fit the Figaro shop one. Unless they do a swap, they may well do that. You take it off and and uh, swap it over and then they send the other one back. I'm not actually too sure about that. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video and hope it's uh, maybe uh, motivated you to get your gas struts done. This was, like I said, about 45 quid, something like that, but well worth it. All right, I'll see you all, all on, the, on the next one very, very soon. Cheers, bye.